Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I am Amazing K, Karen K. Rush, and this is the Amazing K program. So please tag and share, comment below, share this, let people know that we are over here giving some good information. We celebrate every day and we are excited about that. So subscribe and get three people to subscribe because we have a contest going on. And if you get three people to subscribe to this channel, you get your name in a drawing to win a trip. Look at these trips you can win. And if you're the person that subscribes, you get more people to subscribe than most people, you win a trip. You win a trip, you win a trip. You win a trip. I've got trips to give away people because this is courtesy of Rush Travels and Adventures which is my travel business, where I show people how they can save money and make money on the money business side of travel. So listen, please tag, share, hit that bell, because you never know when I'm gonna be giving you something to celebrate. Well, let's talk about today. Today is October 11th, Wednesday, October 11th. It is the International Day of the Girl Child. Yay! It's also, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm wearing my pink because that's the, some, the color for breast cancer awareness. And I'm also wearing it because it's the International Day of the Girl Child. Now, you know, girls can wear whatever color they want, but pink is usually associated with girls. So let's talk about this international celebration of the Day of the Girl Child. So girls are awesome. You know, there's girl power. Everybody's some a girl power it is. Yes, girls rule. Yes, they do. But you know, there's a lot of obstacles in this world for girls to do what they want to do or to become what they want to be. And today is that day to just eradicate all that and to celebrate how we can help support girls to live their dreams, to do what they want to do. They can be whoever they want to be. They could be a doctor. They could be a lawyer. They could be a teacher. They could be an engineer. They could be an aerospace engineer, like my daughter in love. They can be a, a, a factory worker, like my daughter. They could be a teacher, like my other daughter in love. You know, I'm telling you, girls rule. They can be whatever they want to be. There's so many different types of engineers. They could be mechanical engineer, aerospace engineer, uh, electrical engineer. You know what? They can do whatever they want to do. They can be teachers. They can be astronauts. They can be uh, people who work in the medical field, a doctor, a nurse, a physical therapist. Girls can be whatever they want to be, whatever they put their mind to it, whatever they think, they, what we think about. We become what we think about. But you know what? We have to help remove these barriers for girls to do what they want to do. Make sure that the education is available for them. Make sure the resources are available for them. Make sure that there are programs that are available for them. Mentors. Yes. People that are role models. So today, I would like to introduce you to a role model of girls. Someone that I met Back in June, Miss Juneteenth, this was Juneteenth, June 18th of uh, this year. If you remember, um, I, I talked about the celebration and everything that I went to. Well, this young lady, I had met her when she was younger because my choir and her were on the same program a couple of times. And I just remember that beautiful voice that she has a wonderful singing voice. And then I saw her again older as an adult and I just had to interview her to find out what she was doing now and when you find out what she's doing now you're going to be very excited so I'd like to introduce to you Miss Nyla and her mother Miss Mama Sophia so hello it is me back at Nathan K celebrate every day and I am here with Miss Juneteenth and her mother hello. <laughs> at the Juneteenth Detroit celebration so, Miss Nyla, I remember Nyla when she was a little girl singing. Now she's holding now. 20 now. 20. Yes. Oh my God, that was so long ago. And she has Miss Juneteenth of this year. So tell me, what does being Miss Juneteenth entail? What did you have to do to become Miss Juneteenth? Yes, well, what I had to do in the previous years, I had to submit an essay and um, talking about what it means to be, be talking about my heritage. At that time, I was in Civil Air Patrol. So, Civil Air Patrol, that is 90% of Central Rescue for United States Air Force. And that time I was doing some community service. And so I was talking about that and being a role model to other girls and other teens that were my age. 
Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So what are you doing now? I mean, what is your career? Are you in school or what's going on? Yes, well, I'm doing a lot of things. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes, well, I am, I am attending now at Macomb County Community College, going for robotic engineering. Yes. Oh, awesome. Oh, yes, and I have a kids consort program called Kids Consort, which stands out, which stands for Stand Out Always Rise, and to reach the to reach number to reach our contact is 313-854-4889. Again, it's 313-854-4889. And tell me what SOAR stands for. Stand, stand out, out, always rise. I love yes. it. Stand out, always yes. rise. And mom, how loud oh. are you? Oh. oh. This, 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 this. Well, wow, we've been in this journey uh, for seven years now. Um, as Nyla stated, when she was uh, still in middle school, uh, she, she was crowned for the first time at that time. And she was just a cadet in the Civil Air Patrol. And now she's the uh, uh, cadet deputy commander, one of the very few um, African-American uh, women to hold that position, one of the first to hold that position. She also serves as the aerospace um, trainer for the cadets as well. Our squadron, um, Detroit 100, is named in honor of our heroes, the Tuskegee Airmen. So they wear the same patch, and they uh, she does a lot of traveling with them as well. So she's a part of the Tuskegee Airmen Museum's educational program, along with the NASA educational program. And what's so funny um, with that is that uh, when NASA contacted us, I thought it was a joke. Wow. I thought someone was playing a prank, and they had to contact us several times to let us know that they were actually uh, recognizing Nyla's Kids Consort Program as a stakeholder in their NASA Education uh, oh Alliance. Yeah, yeah. So they wanted to honor her. So she's being trained literally by black rocket scientists. Yeah. Imagine the hidden figures in my house right now. So yeah. she's calculating the astronauts landing on the moon and stuff yeah. like that. Oh my but I love it. I love this journey that we're on. I get to go along for the ride. I'm mom. Yes, I get to mom. go along with, for the ride. And I just greatly appreciate the blessing um, of these shoes that she's been asked to fulfill. And again, she's the first, but now we have little Miss Rosie, um, oh, yes. who's also oh. been crowned as well. And we also have a little Quadir, our, yes. our, our Mr. June team. We, and so, we, we, yes. We, 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 so what we're doing is, a lot of people want to treat like it's a pageant. That's not what we're doing. We are growing a royal court. It's our goal to have over 100 youth being honored for their greatness within our royal court. So we're going to keep adding, keep adding, keep adding. We're going to keep mentoring, keep mentoring, keep mentoring. And that kids can soar. Well, we're just teaching them a lot as far as leadership, with the six Tuskegee Air Airmen values. They're learning aviation, robotics. They're learning so much. And then I'm coming along teaching them acting and public speaking as well. Yes, and so we invite that. families. We make sure we feed them. Now we have a, a, a grand master of martial arts with us as well. And so if you want to have your children involved in this, again, do not hesitate. I don't have a secretary. When you call that number, it's me, Mama Sophia, 313-854-4889. We love you, Detroit. We love you, Detroit. You know us. You know we love you. And we will see you soon. Until then, keep living a purpose-driven life. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. Was Wasn't that amazing? I tell you that Mama Sophia got me fired up. So listen, guys, what an abs absolutely wonderful program. So if you want to be a part of it, if you know, if you have children that you want to be part of the Kids Can Soar program, I love that acronym, Stand Out Always Rising. Yes, call that number. But listen, they only have limited uh, amount. So they're doing a favor because of this broadcast and because of the International Day of the Girl Child. If you really want your child to be in it, then you need to let them know that you saw this broadcast on Celebrate with Amazing K. Just say you were referred by K Rush, you know, Celebrate Amazing K, let them know that because they'll let you in that way because this is an awesome program. It's awesome. I'm not just letting anybody in. So feel blessed that you saw this program. Now, they also need donations because they take care of the kids. They, they feed the kids. They take them on trips. And they're very, they need funding. So if you want to donate, here is the cash app. Donate in all lowercase, just like it is there. Dollar sign, kids can store. You'll see Nyla's name, so you'll know it's the right one. And listen, 
help them out because they're making a difference. And that's what we need in this world. That's what we need in this city, in this town, in this world. We need someone to make a difference. So thank you so much for supporting uh, Kids Can Soar and celebrate every day with Amazing K. I'm Karen K. Rush, and I approve this message. Bye-bye.